What's good, y'all? It's your boy Jamil Armstrong, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm here with my boy Zay. We're gonna provide you with this 10 week Navy boot camp video. You already know how we do it, we keep it 100% with y'all. We tell it to you all straight. So, without further ado, let's just get right into this. All right, you just hopped out of the O'Hare International. You might be chilling the USO, you're gonna be chilling the lounge for maybe like an hour, but it's gonna be late. It's gonna be late when they gonna come pick you up. Forgot to mention this, when you're in the airport, mm. once you're in the airport, once you get the USO, they're already gonna have you lined up. They're gonna measure your foot size on this on this machine, right? I'll this, put it on the, the screen. Dr. Shoals, you know? The, the Dr. Shoals. The they'll uh, analyze how big your foot is and you know, what's a comfortable size for you. And for me, they wrote 12M, which is 12 male. And you're gonna have that little, that little imprint on your hand for about the rest of the night. Night of arrival. You wanna start first with this, wanna? Um, lot, of lot, lot, of, lot to unpack here. The ride there is chill as hell. You know, you ain't doing too much, but as soon as you get there, as soon as those doors open. They gonna rush you out, they gonna rush you out. It's like, it's weird, it's kinda like, in that bus, it's quiet, like you're not talking. They play the video on, they gonna talk about the SEALs top six, and that's the little little video they play uh, in the shuttle, and you just, you just gotta pay attention, be quiet, don't say nothing. Once you get to RTC, once they open those doors, it's game time. But when you run in, right, there's gonna be a line of flags in the middle of the uh, the, pe the hallway. You get like a certain amount of time to call your parents. You get three minutes, three minutes max. They give you a prompt of what to say and how long to say. They say, hey mom, I got here. Or, hey mom or dad, I got here safely. I'm here at RTC. I'll call you within three weeks. So the first thing that I did, that our group did, we did uh, your analysis. Alphabetically, they just started getting our names, right? And then you're gonna show it to the people in the data exchange, like what size are you? You're gonna say, like me, I said 12M. So they provided me uh, size 12 male go fasters. I'm kind of speeding through it, but like after that, they taking your divisions, and you know that's basically the first night. It's just a lot of like indoctrination stuff. P days, so that's where you get all your medical stuff done, your dental. Everything's gonna be stamped. Everything that you have, everything to put your belongings in, because they're gonna provide you deodorant, soap, all that shampoo, shaving, bro. Oh my. No shave jits to all my brothers. Shaving every day is really gonna irritate your skin, so I highly, I highly recommend for you to get a no shave chit. It's just a thing that happens. It's uncomfortable as hell. It makes your skin itch. I have it right now because I gotta get a no shave chit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But like, A Rocks are in charge of like leading the formation and just singing. R Pac is the one who's actually like making sure the agenda is being followed. There's also gonna be a master of arms. There's gonna be an okay. MF. He like maintains good order and discipline in the division. And then you're gonna have section leaders. People that are in charge of ensuring that people's racks are in order and make sure everything's correctly folded and stove. Yeah, they're gonna teach you a lot of this stuff. They're gonna go through marching inspections, uniform inspections. Three things I you guys should probably brush up on before you guys get to boot camp. Make sure you know your ranking recognition, the sailor's creed. You guys wanna know the sailor's creed and your general orders. This is your recruit bible. This is the bible. The recruit bible. This is the bible right here. <laughs> If it says it in this book, it will happen. <laughs> Acres away, my boys. Acres away. Are you gonna be singing? <laughs> so yeah, a lot of the stuff on here, they're gonna test you. For a test, everything is multiple choice. Everything's multiple choice. Everything. Nothing is written. So your first test, I'm sure still applies now. Like your ranking recognition, the three things that we told you guys to brush up on before you guys get to boot camp. Your general orders. Your general stuff. orders, you know, basic like sailor knowledge. Make sure you also pass your, your preliminary PT, right? And if you pass if you pass those two things, you're eligible for a rank up. Let's say you enter as like a senior recruit. By the end of boot camp, you're gonna be an E2, right? So we got through the first three weeks. Week four is live fire, so this is where they teach you how to handle my week four is where they taught us how to handle a weapon it's an m9 pistol it's a beretta just uh, pay attention to the classes they provide i would honestly say boot camp is like 60 percent classes and actual like 40 percent like hands-on stuff unless you're doing reps and sets but uh yeah you're gonna be mostly be spending time in the classroom just learning all right and after that we're gonna progress to week five that was our week five firefighting this is where they teach the firefighting classes how to handle the hose and basically <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the confidence chamber. Let's talk about that real quick. You know, they, they teach you like what to do with your mask, how to make sure you got a good seal on it so the gas doesn't affect you before you take off your mask. Like as we said, like these are professionals, they're gonna teach you the way. Um obviously when you have your recruit cup, your meat you're like you're gonna be a, a bunch of mucus just gonna come out of your mouth, your nose, everywhere. Week six and seven, it's basically like inspections, like they're like they're getting you ready for, for battle stations, which is week eight. And they're gonna have these inspections like uh, firefighting, how to how to fight the fire, how to how to fight how to fight the fire, keep your eyes always on the fire. So yeah, week eight, that's basically battle stations. That's basically battle stations it's, it's basically where they test your knowledge on everything and, and ensuring that you basically have a clear understanding of what they taught you 
It's about a 12 hour experience of just staying up, staying awake, and staying uh, aware of what's going on. I signed an NDA. So it's basically like just a simulation process. The next two weeks is basically the life classes, what to be aware of when you're in the real world, um, how to care yourself. All right, so week 10 is basically like you're there. A lot of people say boot camp is like, you gotta make sure, yes, make sure you're physically fit. And we're also gonna be dropping a video on, you know, boot camp workouts. We're gonna, we gonna get you fit. We're gonna get you, we're gonna get you Navy strong. Make sure your mentality is right. Go in there willing and optimistic to learn because a lot of people got booted out of boot camp because uh, don't have a bad attitude because that will get you kicked out. Honestly, your job is gonna get so much harder if you're working with somebody that is just, just has this negative attitude and this negative aura around them. You know, you wanna hang around positive people, hang around the right group of people in boot camp especially. Hey, what they always say, the quickest way to get out of boot camp is just to graduate. Y'all have like things y'all want us to talk about, put it in the comments. If you have any questions, just let me know. I'll drop my Instagram, my IG. You can hit me up on there. Definitely willing to help you guys. Oh, I also got an IG. You got an IG now? Yeah. Well, he got an IG. I'm going to put his IG in the description below. So, if you guys haven't already, make sure you leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. Press that notification bell. Comment down below. Comment down below. And as always, stay classy.